Hello my friends of Atari Labs, my name is Ormo Montoya. Please welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is for interactive representation of a geospatial raster in Jupyter in a Jupyter notebook with Python. Okay, so that was an issue, at least for me some years ago, that I wanted to plot not only check files in with volume, okay. Uh, but I wanted to also to plot rasters and then I wanted to represent or trying to mimic the QIS environment in uh, in a Jupyter notebook, okay? So later on I figure out how I can plot a raster on a Jupyter on Jupyter uh, on volume inside Jupyter uh, notebook inside the Jupyter notebook and now we are going to see how is how it goes okay so let's see you are going to receive the zipped version of this folder and please place it under your document so when you open anaconda you type cd documents cd documents cd interactive okay and then here you type jupyter lab so jupyter lab will be launched in the default um browser okay great so this is the dem and this is the raster plot so we can restart kernel and clear all cells okay first we pour matplotlib numpy rasterio and volume okay then we open uh, then we open the um one a single band raster with rasterio okay this tutorial is just for single band okay i haven't figured out how to do it with a uh, panchromatic with multiple band raster okay and then uh, for volume we need to have the centroid of the uh, for volume we need to have the centroid of the raster however uh, this tutorial only works with uh, rasters in wgs84 because volume only works in wgs84 so if you have the raster in some other projection you have to turn into wgs84 okay and there is an issue here for the color scale with the not a number cells because the not a number cells really are interpreted as an extreme value and the and the ramp the color ramp is gets messy okay that is why we just interpret we all what is not a number or all the the cells that have no data will be interpreted to as zero and with that we can plot well in this this digital elevation mo model has no missing data or at least we don't see that but those are interpreted as zero and then we get the uh, the centroid the medium longitude and the medium latitude okay and then we create a map okay and the magic comes with the volume raster layer image overlay okay because with image overlay we can plot the array okay and then we can give the bounds and uh, with some other uh, parameters and then we can add the image to the map okay and then we can also plays a layer control okay um just to mention that um that uh, there are several options in volume to create menus to plot chip files to plot the geojsons and to add background maps as well so this is just how to put a raster files just how to put a raster file on your uh, um, a raster file on volume but then on the documentation you are going to see you are going to find a lot of things about how to put other things in volume other special data in volume okay so if we run it we see yeah we see the control but as well we see our raster file yeah and then i can turn in turn off turn on actually it's pretty flat yeah but we can see the digital elevation model here okay so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you will enjoy and then you will apply it just to remember that this works with rasters in wgs84 okay 
So uh, we are Hatari Labs. We are a knowledge sharing platform. So if you want uh, to um, support our research, we have different diplomas. Okay, we have one in SWAT, one in Flowpy, one in Modflow with Model Muse, and then we have several courses as well. And as well, we have some webinars, some of them are open, and then some of them, the recorded, are paid. Okay, so um, just consider taking one of our uh, programs if you are interested in too deep into groundwater modeling and Python. Okay. Uh, well, that's all. I mean, uh, please have a great day and see you in another webinar. In another tutorial.